Let, let, let me put my roller on, bitch, I'm a rolling stone Keep one in my blick and shit get sticky, I'm gon' blow Off no not to call my phone, cause they know what we on Leave that boy like Ricky, call What's good, YouTube? I know it's been a little minute, man, since I've been on, a, on here, you guys But uh, I've been going through a lot, man <clears throat> I'm gonna try to keep it simple with you guys, man. I'm gonna let you keep you guys with an update. You know, I'm in the military, and being in the military could be a lot stressful, man. But I told you guys, I'm gonna try to drop as much as I can, man. It's been about two weeks since I dropped a tutorial, but here's a brand new, great tutorial for you guys, man. A lot of barbers, man, I know, do not know how to cut somebody with a receded hairline, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do a receded hairline and how to get their hairline straight. He asked for a high taper. So that's what I'm gonna get them. Now you see me using that ball line. I remember in my previous video, man, I told you guys, man, if you're a beginner barber, make sure you use your clippers to make that ball line. Do not make a ball line with your trimmers because it'll be hard to get that ball line out. But as you guys see, I'm balling out that line because I like my ball lines to be crisp. And you will see at the end how that taper fade comes together just simply by how I make sure that my ball line is correct because you gotta start off with a clean surface, man. You want your surface to be clean and neat. So that's why I use my trimmers. I like my surface to be neat. But yeah, man, the military has been pretty good for me sometimes, and it's been bad, you know what I'm saying? Being in the military can be very depressing and, and it can cause anxiety a lot. So that's what's been keeping me from posting recently, man, because I've just been going through a lot, but I promise you, man, just stick with me, man. I promise you, you I'm going to make sure that I, um, you know, throw out some more bangers for you guys, man. Please get this video to 100 subs. I am doing a $100 giveaway once I do 100 subs. I'm going to cash out my 100th subscriber. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do a drawing, and whoever names come in that drawing, I'm going to cash out them $100. As you guys see, I'm starting with my No Guard with the Andes Masters Go. I love those clippers. Those are the best clippers that I have. I use them until they die. But as you guys can see, I'm with my no guard open. I'm going up half an inch. And I'm just creating a guideline, man. Making sure that, that guideline is completely set before I go into any further details. Now I'm going halfway. And as every time I drop my lever, I go, I go down a little bit more. So now you guys see me going halfway. I'm completely fading that line out. Now you guys can see, you see that dark line. I'm not worried about that line right now. I'm worried about that ball line. I'm trying to get that ball line out. So as you guys see, I'm... I'm uh, no guard closed at that line and I'm just getting that line out guys Now my next step is gonna be number one guard open Actually, uh, yeah, he told me he wanted me to go down uh, With a one on uh, he wanted to grow his ways out, but he didn't want me to go too low so I decided to go uh, two guard clothes instead of the one that I have just because I didn't want to take too much off, you know what I'm saying? But he did want to grow his ways back, so I decided to go two guard clothes with the Andes Masters instead of going one and a half. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm combing out his hair because he told me that he wanted to go down a little bit with his hair because he wanted to grow his waves out. So right now I'm just combing the head, getting everything combed out so that my clipper can go smoothly through his hair as I take it down with that two bar clothes. As you guys see, I'm using that two bar clothes, bringing that, bringing that um, weight down completely throughout his whole head. So right now, about the next two minutes, that's what you guys gonna be seeing me doing. I'm taking that two bar clothes, and I'm just making sure that it's even all the way around. Now I'm gonna give you guys some life. You know, I always try to give you guys life tips, man. 2023, man, make sure you guys save it, man. Don't go buying Balenciagas and Dior's and Gucci this year, man. Make sure you save some money, man, and try to better your life this year. That's my goal this year, you guys. I really want to, um, by 2024, I really want to open up my, my first barbershop. So my goal right now is to try to save as much as I can, man. You know what I'm saying? Put my girl in school, get her education, you know what I'm saying? My girl, she does lashes. Um, one of these days when she get her business up and going, I'm gonna start shouting her out in my videos, man. Just to, you know what I'm saying, give her a boost. But make sure you guys are saving money, man, because in 20, 2023, things are not getting cheaper, man. Things are actually getting higher. I know uh, eggs now is about $15 in the store. They used to be $4 for a dozen of them. So just pay attention to that, man, and just continue to just make your life great, man. And, you know what I'm saying? And if, if you believe in, you know, Christ, make sure you're praying, man.
But as you guys see, I'm still using that two guard clothes. And I'm just trying to make sure that it's completely even on all sides. So as you guys see, I'm just going with the gray right now with that two guard clothes. To bring all that, that weight off. You know what I'm saying? Because he wants to have waves. He wants to grow waves, but he don't want it too low. So that's why I use the two guard clothes. But I'm going to sit back and let you guys watch the music. Well, actually listen to the music. <laughs> I'm going to let you guys listen to the music as I take this down with the two guard, man. I'll be back. man i'm back with the fade now you see what i'm doing i'm taking my one guard open and i'm flicking man i like to flick into that fade man i don't like to rest my guard on the head because when you flick it just fades better than me so now i am um, number one guard mid with the lever and as i go the, the more i close my lever the lower i go because the, you can take hair off but you can't put it back on <clears throat> so now i'm going close with that one guard and i'm just playing with it playing with my levers to get that fade that I'm looking for, you know? And I'm combing and brushing. Fade one, comb one. Fade one, comb one. I always remember that term, man. So now I'm just trying to make sure that that number one guard closed on that bottom line is completely the number one guard closed before I go with that half guard. My next step is going to be the half guard open at that bottom line. I'm not worried about that top line right now. So as you guys see, I'm with no guard open at that bottom line right there. And I'm just trying to get that bottom line out. So I'm playing with my lever until I get it out. And I'm close. See, I'm quick with it. First I go open, mid, close, quick. It's a quick reaction. Boom, now I'm no guard open. I'm making sure that that line is completely out. I call this a safety zone. Remember in my last previous video, if you watched it, I called it my safety zone. Bro was giving me war stories too. I wish I could show y'all and let y'all hear the stories he was telling me. I'm going to start dropping videos like that. Let you guys know and see what soldiers go through, man. My dog here, he went to Iraq, man. It, it, it's, 
I, I'm just glad he made it out, man, because it's, unfortunately, a lot of soldiers don't make it back from Iraq. So he he actually made it back from Iraq, and he was just giving me stories, man, and just telling me what other soldiers was going through out there on deployment, man. But being in the military is hard. It is challenging. That's why only 1% of the world of people actually join the military. You know what I'm saying? But the perks are good long-term wise. The benefits are amazing. You know what I'm saying? And right now they are giving bonuses too just to join the military. So if you want to join the military, man, do four years, 20 years. And you, I'm telling you, the benefits are definitely worth it. As you guys can see, my clip was dying on me. My favorite Clippers, man, they dying on me. But as you guys can see right now, I'm just blending that, that fade in. I'm just using techniques. I'm going with the grain, against the grain. Right now, I got my one guard back on, and I'm just levering playing, just cleaning up and detailing. Detailing my work, man. When you detail, that's when you get that fade. Cause just look at that fade without, before I even line it up. It's just set. Now you're gonna see me do the same thing to this side, man. I'm using my ball line. Remember I told you I like my surface to be clean and clear when I go with my ball line. So as you guys can see, I'm balling that line completely. And then I'm gonna do the same stuff. I'm gonna do no guard open. Let me know in the comment section what's my next step. After I go no guard open, mid close, what's my next step? As you guys can see, I'm going no guard open with my Anders Masters. A half an inch. I go up a half an inch. That's what you guys see me doing right now. I'm going up a half an inch with my no guard open. Then I'm going to go mid and then close to take that bottom line out. I'm not worried about that top line right now. I want to completely fade that bottom line out before I go to the next step. Now what you see me doing, I'm combing that hair. I want to bring that hair down, man. I want to lay that hair down so when I when I put a guard against it, it fades easier. You know what I'm saying? You want to make sure that your your surface is clean and all the extra hair is out the way. So now I'm flicking. I'm flicking with that number one guard. Open. It's a quick reaction, man. I go open, mid, close very quickly. I like doing that because it just it, it fades perfectly for me. You know what I'm saying? Different barbers fade differently, man. I just find the way that I fade 100% consistent with every hair style that I do. So right now I got the number one guard closed at that bottom line. I'm just trying to make sure that that bottom line is a number one guard closed. And then I can be able to use my half guard. You want to make sure that that bottom line is, is a number one guard closed so that when you bring that half guard in, it just fades together perfectly. See, I had to switch trim. I had to switch because my um, clippers died. Those are my gammas. I love those, but I just don't use it no more whenever I have my Andes. But those gammas are, are, are a very good clippers to use. They cost about $150, and they can range up to $250, but they're very good. Now you guys see me with my no guard open, and I'm just flicking that bottom line out. I'm just trying to get that line out completely before I go to the next step. Now I'm combing, you know what I'm saying? Comb one, fade one. Remember that turn, comb one, fade one. Now I'm going down with the number one guard. I'm trying to blend that bot, that top to that bottom fade. So right now I'm just detailing. I'm doing a lot of detail work. Now I'm taking my number one guard again, and I'm just flicking, I'm just detailing, man. I'm just trying to detail and blend that fade all the way together. I'm trying to bring that fade together. Look how that fade coming out. That fade is blurry. That fade is blurry already. I haven't even lined it up yet.
Cone one, fade one. Remember, man, cone one, fade one. Stick with that one guard. I'm just detailing my work. Trying to make sure that I get that fade as blurry as I can get it. I'm just trying to get those dark spots out that I see. Faded. All right, guys, you can see his hairline, man. He has a challenging hairline. A lot of barbers, they fail at this type of hairline, man. It's, a lot of barbers don't know how to cut a receding hairline. So now what I'm doing is I have my number one guard, and I'm just trying to lay that that hairline down. I want to lay them lay hairs down, man, because if you don't, that's a very important step when it comes to lining somebody up, man. You don't want to just attack a hairline. You got to prep the hairline. So what you see me doing is taking that number one guard, and I'm just going down. I'm going with the grain. As you guys can see, I'm using hot lather. I love to use hot lather. The one it just cleans it cleans the area and it lays the hair down. So that's why I use hot lather. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm applying the hot lather on his hairline. And it just gives it that natural crispy line too. Once you take that hot towel and you put it on there after you put that lather, you guys will see once I take my trimmers and how easy it just lines the hairline up. Just watch. Sorry guys, it's taking me so long. I had to make sure that towel got hot. <laughs> I like to keep my videos a little natural, guys. I'm sorry, I should have edited it out, but I, I've been trying to keep my videos as natural as possible with the least amount of edits. And I'm I'm still learning how to edit, so bear with me, guys. I'm still learning how to get my edits right and get my YouTube channel more, you know what I'm saying? Just watch me progress. You're gonna see my progression go on as I post videos. Now what you see me now what you guys see me doing is I'm using a hot towel and I'm massaging his hairline a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You want to make sure that the hot leather is just opening up his pores. So remember, hot towels open the pores, cold towels close the pores. But I want to open them pores up, man. I want to make sure that them pores get a well open up. Now I'm taking that hot leather out. And as I'm doing this, I'm laying the hair down. What you guys can see me doing with that hot towel, I'm laying that hair down. Now, most borrowers are try to make a V-line because they see that his hair is receding. But me, I want to keep that line as straight as I can. I want to keep it as straight as possible. So you're going to see me make sure that I keep his line as straight. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to dig into his hairline. I want to actually keep his hairline straight. Instead of making that V, I want to keep it straight. So you guys are going to see me go in. Just watch me. My next step is holding spray. I want to apply enough holding spray, man. Not too little and not too much. So as you guys see what I'm doing is I'm brushing that hair down and I'm going to apply some holding spray. I, it don't really matter what type of holding spray you use. I like to use Tresemme, but you can use um, Gotti B glue. I done ran through a lot of holding sprays. So it really don't matter what type of holding spray that you guys use. Just pick a good one, man. And just make sure that you don't apply too much. Because if you apply too much, then, it, then you'll you will see that it's starting to cake up. You don't want that. You don't want the, his forehead to be caked up with spray. Now as you guys see, I'm starting in the middle and I'm going left to right. You always want to start in the middle of the forehead because that's your foundation, man. Always start in the middle of the forehead, man. I see a lot of barbers start in the corners. I see a lot of barbers start in the sidebars. Ain't nothing wrong with that, but me personally, I just like to start in the middle because it gives you that foundation. Now as you guys can see, I'm taking my time 
and I want to keep his hairline as straight as possible without making it a V. I want it to be straight. So that's my goal, and that's what I'm trying to accomplish. I'm trying to keep his hairline straight, and I want to save as much as I can, you know what I'm saying? So you guys can see that light spot on that right corner right there. I want to keep that light spot there. Because that's gonna bring that's gonna make that's gonna create his hairline again, man. Because a lot of barbers, you know what I'm saying, messed him up. He also had dreads before. You know, so you gotta take all that in mind. And you wanna make sure that you just keep his hairline as crispy and as straight as possible. So that's what I'm doing. I'm keeping it as straight as possible. And as you guys can see, this is a little trick. I rest my fingers on his forehead when I'm lining it up. That keeps that tremor in place. It keeps it from moving around. So if you put your knuckles on his forehead, you won't have a problem. And make sure you move his head, man. Make sure, you know what I'm saying? Don't be scared to move your client's head and get it in a position that you need to get it to make sure that his hairline is straight. Because the last thing you want to do is give a client a slanted hairline. So if you got to move his head a little bit, move it. Just make sure they're straight. Look at that fade. That fade is on point. And do you guys see how that hot leather and hot towel is creating that, that white line without the pencil? Just look at it. It's looking pretty good, man. And his, and his hairline is straight. See how straight his hairline is without pushing him back? Let me know how my camera is, guys. Or give me any suggestions if you think I should get a better camera, man. Let, comment, let me know in the comment section, man, how my camera and how my audio is. Just help me improve, you know what I'm saying? I'm still progressing. I'm new to YouTube. I'm new to editing. And I'm new to recording. So if you have any suggestions, any pointers, man, don't be scared to let me know. Let me know, man, so that I, so that I can progress. The only way I'm going to progress if I get input from my, you know, my followers and my supporters, man. And I, I appreciate every supporter that I have, man. Once again, man, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and send this video to five people. Because I am going to do a $100 giveaway at 100 subs. And when I get a 1,000 subs, I'm going to do a $1,000 giveaway. Anybody that follows me on Instagram knows that I'm pretty good with giveaways, man. Right now, I'm sitting at 5,900 subscribers. And every time I hit 1,000 subscribers, I give a giveaway. So once I hit 6,000 consistent followers on instagram i'm gonna do a giveaway on instagram as well so make sure you guys support me by following me on instagram major underscore cuts with a z20 and following my youtube and making sure you hit that um that notification bell as well so that you can see you know what i'm saying more videos that i'm posting look at that lineup that lineup is straight remember have you seen before he had a v-shaped hairline man i kept that hairline as straight as i can without digging in and without pushing his hairline back. So now I'm gonna use enhancements. I know a lot of barbers are against enhancements. I know it's a lot of people say if you get in the shower, he's gonna wash, it's gonna wash away. But the purpose of enhancements is to enhance the hairline, you know? As you guys can see, his hairline is crispy before I even put the enhancements on. So the enhancements, only only thing the enhancements really gonna do is just enhance the hairline, man. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna give it that pop. So when he goes to the club and stuff, they're going to be like, damn, who cut your hair? He's going to be like, major cuts. You know what I'm saying? So really, the enhancements is really only used to enhance the hairline. If you see his hairline before I put the enhancements on, you clearly see that it's crispy. And that's the airlock compressor that I got off Amazon for $70. If you um, go on Amazon and put in auto lock, then you'll see that compressor is about $70 and it's great, man. It doesn't clog. It doesn't, the battery lasts about a week. It's a good compressor. Now what you guys see me using is I'm using that fiber. I'm using a little fibers just to blend that in, blend them light spots in, you know. I don't typically always use fibers, but sometimes I do use fibers. It just gives it that more of a pop, you know what I'm saying? 
because sometimes the enhancements, the, the liquid, it can give it a shiny look, and I don't want it to have a shiny look. I want it to blend in with his hair. I want it to look more natural. So sometimes I go back with the fibers, and I use fibers. Look how crispy this thing is coming out, man. This head, this head cut is very crispy, man. Maybe I'm falling, maybe I'm falling for you. Now I'm using that holder spray to lock the fibers in. I'm coming back with my trimmers to make sure that it's crispy. I want to go over any work that I've that I've created. Let me go. Let me know honestly, man, how you guys feel about this haircut. Let me know in the comment section. Let me know any further videos you guys would like for me to post, man. Any type of videos, man. I'm trying to be more creative, man. I want to give you guys education, and I want it to be fun as well. So let me know any ideas, you know, my, my supporters got out there, man. As you guys can see, I'm using that Barber Magic Pencil. I love that Magic Pencil just because it just gives it that pop. You know what I'm saying? Some people are against the pencil, you know? Some people like their pencil more blended than the other. So it just all depends on the client on how they like their pencil. You know what I'm saying? It's a Florida thing, really, man. Really Florida invented Barber Magic Pencils. Not everybody uses it. I see people in California, Texas. Um, Chicago, they use the barber pencil. So I see it's a trend now, but it really originated in Florida, man. As you guys can see, I'm trying to blend that pencil, so I'm using my trimmer, and I'm just going back with my work. Now what you guys see me doing, I'm raising in that lineup. And I'm using that holding spray, man. I'm gonna lock in that pencil. So that's what that holding spray gonna do. The holding spray gonna lock that pencil, man. Look how he shaped. <laughs> that thing cold. That's some cold holding spray. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. 
and hit that notification bell, man, so you guys can see my future videos and see my progression. Like I said, I'm new to YouTube, man. I'm still learning how to edit. I'm still learning how to talk. I'm still learning how to use my camera. So please comment in the comment section and just let me know how I'm doing, man. Let me know how my haircuts are coming out. Let me know how my lineups are. Just be honest with me and just watch my growth. I want to thank all my supporters and all my followers for just following me through this journey. It's been a long two years, and the real supporters know everything that I've been through. So if I can do it, I know you guys can do it. So I just want to thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you another time.